Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanics Simulator 2015! We've got our uh, two Maseratis over here. And... well... actually, sorry. The Maserati and the Bentley. And we've just rebuilt this Bentley T-Series over here. So, um, yeah, it's quite valuable now, even though we've spent quite a lot of money on it, I believe. Um... And we've done a classic restore. Um, it doesn't have any performance parts, it's just a good, you know, lovely classic car. So, we're going to be selling this one. Or should we test it? Mm, yeah, sure, why not? Let's go to the drag strip and test it. Bentley T-Series. Alright, accelerate to start. Look at this interior. Alright. Let's go. Remember, 225, I believe, horsepower, not much. Ooh, it's running out of steam, about 5,000. Better just, uh... Ship there, at about 5,000. Ten and a half seconds to 100, that's not too bad for such an old car, and, you know, it's a big limousine. Come on. Oh, man, hold Come on, almost 100 miles. There we go. Well, it's not too bad. But hey. This was, uh, this was quite nice. Look at this interior. Right, let's return to the garage. Okay. So. This is good to go. Let's sell it. And this car, this is gonna be a performance monster. So, uh, we can swap it, the engine. Well... It's only the V8 twin turbo, unfortunately. Oh well. I was kind of hoping we could swap it for something even crazier. Right, let's take all this stuff off. Is this? Yeah, it's 89%, of course. Right. Take this off. Rear bumper. There we go. All this stuff has to go. Oh yeah, it's the, the front fender as well. Look at this. Yeah. All right. Now let's repair this. Bim, 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 bim. Ooh, lovely. We've repaired everything. That's quite interesting. Actually, do we have any junk? Nope, we don't. Everything is pr in pristine condition. Look at that with black uh, I mean black uh, tail lights. That would be kind of interesting. But I'm not really a fan of black tail lights. Or headlights, which is even crazier. Some people do that. Front light fender. Front. Oh yeah, wait. Maserati. Front right fender. There we go. Wait, what? Front right fender. Front right fender. Oh, this is not the... There we go. It's a Quattro Porte. I would not mind a quattro porte. Front bumper. The sound the, the V8 produces in the quattro porte is just... Ugh, <laughs> yummy. Sorry about that. That was weird. <laughs> but it is, it is just, you know, mind-bogglingly awesome. There's a trunk. Tail light. Wow, I've repaired lots of stuff. Nice. There we go. Looks much better. Oh, I forgot to respray the previous car. Okay. Well, we can respray this one. Uh, paint shop. And because it's going to be a performance one, we're going to spray it an angry red or something. Um, yeah. Urgh. Brightness. Oh my god. How about a sort of a dull... I mean, not a dull, but a dark red. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. I think that's quite a dashing color. Look at that. All right. So, time to take stuff apart and uh, assemble it with lovely performance parts. So this is the direct injection stuff. There it is. Let's take that off. Oh, I've got to take all the ignition coils out. Now, the, the really interesting thing about the newest Mazda engines that are coming out 
they'll have such high compression, the petrol engines, they'll have such high compression that they'll actually be on par with the diesel engines um, as far as compression goes and will, in fact, in a way, work as a diesel engine. Now, I'm not sure if that means also that they will not have any spark plugs, which would be kind of cool. Um, probably not, but it's very interesting what Mazda is doing. There we gotta take that off, that off, there we go. God, look at that belt. It's crazy. And all these pulleys and bearings and idler rollers and blah, blah, blah. I have to take the belt tensioner off first. Now I can take the belt off. There. There's so much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. It's interesting how, how humanity got to this, you know, got to this uh, place in time where we are making these incredibly complicated machines with so many moving parts to move something about. It's, it's really quite interesting if you think about it. And even more interesting is to think about all the electronics we're, we're making and such. Which makes it that much more depressing to think that, you know, if we, if, if the world is going for a, some kind of a apocalyptic nuclear war, um, can you just imagine all of those decades and decades and decades of progress lost? Just no more mass production, no more scientific breakthroughs for, for a long, long while. If we even survive properly. Yeah. And, you know, the, the craziest thing about... You know, I'm not, I'm not a doomsayer, but of course you have to be realistic. Um, the political atmosphere in the world right now is not too great, I think. With everything going on, with populism rising and, and so on and so forth. And nationalism. But, um... The, probably the most depressing thing for me is that we are so close to some major um, space exploration breakthroughs and, you know, dark matter stuff that they're researching and so on and so forth. Oh, there's another air filter here. Bloody hell, it's got two. <clears throat> and all of that would suddenly come to a grinding halt. There's a world war. And if there is, hopefully it's not with nuclear weapons, because, yeah, you know, we're, we're royally screwed. Right, anyway, I didn't want to, uh, to go all depressi depressive on you, but there we go. Uh, and I said, there we go again. Perfect. Okay, I'll have to live the car now. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. All of this stuff needs to have a car on uh, the lifters. Look at that, red lifter and a dark red car. I really like that color. I think I really enjoy it, yeah. It's nice. Okay, so, quattro porte rims off. Actually, we might change the rims. Should I change the rims? Oh, you can all, no, you can swap the tires and the rims. Let's do the slick tires because they're very road legal, of course. Yeah. Look at that. Alright. That's crazy. Alright. We can also change the rims though. I, I might I might do that. Uh. <clears throat> we'll see. Okay, so that comes off. I might as well start with the rear now, I guess. And then we'll go for the engine. There's gonna be a lot of little parts here and there. Oh man, look at that rubber bushing, this, that, blah, blah, blah. If you want to take that rubber bushing out, you'll have to take all of that other stuff out first. But it doesn't matter because we're taking out everything anyway. And then repairing it like crazy. There's a rear shock absorber. In there. That is a heck of a lot of parts on this thing. Oh, just remove that so I can I can see a little bit better. 
Let's let's just take all the rubber bushings out as well here. There and there. <laughs> so many parts in such a small area here. Look at this. It's crazy. Rear axle. There we go. It is rear wheel drive. It's not all wheel drive. There. Think, think, think. Yeah, this this stuff. You know, comparing it to the previous, uh, the, the classic Bentley, you can see how much how much more complex all this stuff is. Um, suspension and engine and everything. That's pretty interesting to see. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, we can take that off. Why not? It's there. Uh, right, we'll need to take the drive shaft off first. I'm pretty sure there's stuff on the other side we still haven't uh, removed fully. Yep. There is. Come on, can I click on that, please? Oh, for Pete's sake. There's more stuff here. There's, there's so many parts. There we go. Now, that's all gone. Now we can do the exhaust sections. No, I clicked on the exhaust. Thank you. Catalytic converters. There. The starter, which can be taken off from the underside, underneath. Some of them have to be taken from uh, up uh, from within the engine bay. There's the oil filter. I have to remember to uh, drain the oil as well, of course. go. Flywheel. Anything else? No. I can take some of this stuff out now. But again, I have to remember to drain the oil. I mean, at the same time, it's not a huge deal. Even if I have to pay those, what, like a hundred bucks or something. We've got so much money now, it really doesn't matter. Um, I have a feeling I'll have to take the shock absorber out from, uh, from the engine bay. Maybe not. It's so high up. Let me let me check. So that comes off. No, it's taken out from here. Okay. Shark absorber and spring and this and that and so many parts. <laughs> well, let's take the rubber bushings. Where's that one? I want the rubber bushing. Thank you. Look at these slick tires. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look new for some reason. There. I really wonder what the police would say over here if, if I was to drive around with a car with slick tires. <laughs> I think I would get quite a fine. And also, uh, it would be quite interesting to drive with slick tires uh, if it started raining. <laughs> I don't think I would like them very much then. I don't think I would like them very much at all. There we go. Aqua planning for days. Even with small puddles. Okay, now that comes out finally. And now I have to drain the oil. Uh, where is it? Did I just turn around twice looking for this thing? I might have. Look at it! It's a hover car now! Alright, there's the oil drain. Beep. Off it goes. Why was there so little oil in there? It's like weird. Right, you go there. You go with the you go. You don't really. Okay. I can take the one bearing caps off, and then we can li uh, lower the car to take the pistons out, and then we can lift the car to take out the crankshaft and everything. All right. Me. Yeah, I like this color a lot. It's a nice color. There's the pistons. Now, this car will be fully, fully performance oriented as much as possible. Unfortunately, it's going to be useless at the drag strip because, well, 
it's rear-wheel drive only, and you can't really control it in this game for some reason. If it, even if you lift off the throttle, it still goes crazy all over the place. There. Now we can take the engine block out, and the car has been completely stripped of all the parts. Brilliant. All right. Now, let's uh, repair what we can. Hopefully not destroy much. I can't repair everything. What? You managed to repair that? Yes, I know. I'm holding down shit. Don't tell me that. Uh, so many parts. My poor mouse. There. Much better. Okay. Now, sell the junk. Oh, there's no junk, apparently. Uh, wait. What? What's going on? That was bizarre. Did you see that? That was quite very bizarre. Oh, God! Come on! There. Oh, man. Alright. I want performance for everything. Performance parts... Well, we can just swap an in a new engine in, but of course that wouldn't... Uh, need to assemble a new engine from your own parts. Empty swap! <laughs> Swap tire. Um, I might as well put some different wheels on this, shouldn't I? I don't think you can really put different wheels on it, can you? Hmm. Bank clone. You cannot apply for another bank clone. What? Do I have a bank clone? Ooh. Ooh. What's this? What? What? What can you... I've never seen this before. You can click on the little Bluetooth icon and it's it's a search? Let me see. Rim 560. What? Is this like a cheat code or something? What, what is this for? Interesting. I've never seen that. Anyway, um, yeah. Engine block. What there? Alternator. Well, there are performance. Oh my god, how many bloody alternators do we have? Alternator! Okay, so there's the alternator, the shiny chrome one. Because if it's chrome, it obviously adds power. That's, uh, that's just a fact of life. There's the other air filter. I need performance air filters these ones i think look at that one that's quite interesting w12 okay, air filter cover and of course the bloody clips which are bloody everywhere and there oh i think i'm out of clips actually that's quite annoying yeah clip a can i get performance clips please Clip. One, two, three, four. There, and there, and there, and there. Alright, power steering pump V8. I don't think that's a performance part. What's possible to get? There's the ABS pump and the module. There we go. Right, there's the battery, which we can put in right now. Alright, where to start? There's so much stuff to do. Oh yeah, the brake servo. And I think there's not much we can do up here. We'll have to lift the car and do stuff from underneath. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am playing it. Next time we'll complete this performance-based of a machine. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.